very warm welcome to today's video and today's video is very interesting very very relevant to all our lives because it's all about how not to be rude that's right you're with me Rima and today we're going to talk about how not to be rude you know whether you're in a business meeting or in a public setting or you know you're communicating with another person one to one now sometimes it can be a lot of fun to be slightly rude but trust me it never pays to be rude especially when it comes to your business interactions so let's look at some points you know which teach us how not to be rude and how to come across as you're very polished and polite now the first tip that i have for you is do not do not ever 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 interrupt that's right so well if you're in a meeting with somebody especially a business meeting and one of your colleagues or co-workers is expressing his point of view please do not interrupt that person and put forward your idea because that is extremely rude very very rude at that so what you could do is you could say something like uh, may i please interrupt i have something to say and if you are given permission to interrupt by the other person and the person says yes please go ahead then you can put your point across without coming across as rude because interrupting is a big no no always remember do not interrupt Now the next thing that you really need to remember is in any conversation elevate but do not put down that's right now if you're in a conversation with a few people and somebody is expressing their idea or point of view and you just end up being very condescending to that person and putting that person down by saying something like oh yeah that's what you think yeah well you always say that you know this kind of a tone and this kind of a uh, you know condescending tone makes you come across as very full of yourself and you're actually putting the other person down so absolutely and completely avoid that because that is rude and annoying and can actually spoil your relationship with that person in fact what you should do is you should stick to elevating the person you could say something like okay i like the way you think or oh i didn't know you thought like that you know that's so much more supportive and positive and if you don't agree with what the person is saying you could say that you know wow it's interesting how you think and that would appear way more supportive and you could elevate the person in the conversation rather than putting him or her down And the next thing that you need to remember if you want to learn how not to be rude is don't get aggressive with the no word that's right so if you're in a meeting and someone is putting their point across and you don't agree don't just get aggressive and say no that's just rubbish what are you saying cuz you're going to come across as so rude in fact that's like screaming loudly hey i'm rude look at me i'm sure you don't want to be that person so well if someone's putting their point across and even though you disagree await your turn and then creatively express your opinion in a diplomatic fashion and in a mellow tone do not get aggressive with a no cuz that is a complete no no Now the one thing that I've seen people do a lot of times and I think that is very rude so if you want to learn how not to be rude please avoid going back on your word that's right so well for example in a work conversation if you've shared with your coworker well I think that idea has a lot of potential so the next time the idea is being discussed in a larger group and your colleague actually enlists your support by saying something like you know well uh, we think that this idea has a lot of potential in fact so and so agrees with me and you say something like when did i ever agree with you 
or I never said that. Now that is like going back on your word. It actually leaves your co-worker or colleague in a soup in a very very compromising position. It embarrasses the other person. At the same time, it doesn't show you in a really good light because the other person is going to think, oh my god, this person is almost lying. So if you have said something in the past, first thing, remember it, you know, keep it in your mind. And the next time somebody actually mentions that comment of yours, actually agree and own up to having said that because that is definitely way more polite than just going back on your word. So one thing to do if you want to learn how not to be rude, never go back on your word because that is rude. next thing you need to be careful about when you're learning how not to be rude or rather learning to be very polite is bad behavior not just in real life but especially on the phone that's right so imagine if you get a work call and you pick up the call and say something like hey hello just hold on because I'm on the other line oh my god that is rude you could say something acceptable like, you know, Hi, thank you for calling. Well, I happen to be on the other line. Can I please call you back? That would sound so much better than just, you know, putting someone on hold without even actually acknowledging their presence. Now, I have been at the receiving end of many such, you know, badly behaved callers. And I'm telling you, it's very rude and annoying and really irritates me. Another thing I've seen people do is, you know, they just don't take your call. So imagine I call someone up for work and they miss my call, which is fair enough because you're busy, but the person just does not bother to return your call and days pass by. Now that, you know, actually shows that you're fairly disinterested in communicating with me or you're just rude. So avoid bad behavior, not only in real life, but also on the phone. And that's when you learn how not to be rude and you learn how to be polite. Now when you're learning how not to be rude, there's two words that you need to master and those words are, I'm sorry. That's right. So the first thing you need to learn about not being rude is sometimes it may or may not be your mistake but it's important for you to know the art of apologizing. So let's say you know there was a certain communication to be sent out to a group of people and you ended up mismanaging it or creating a confusion. Now the first thing you should do is apologize and say something like I'm sorry you know this happened or I apologize it wasn't my intention the moment you apologize you're taking ownership you're taking responsibility and you're coming across as genuine and somebody who wants to do good work but happened to make a mistake but when you refuse to apologize trust me that's when you're coming across as very rude very annoying and very very arrogant so always remember, you want to learn how not to be rude? Well, learn to apologize. Now the next tip that you need to be very careful about is do not talk over. That's right. So let's say there are three, four people and they're having a discussion. One person is addressing the other three and you happen to be one among these three. So when the person is addressing the three people in the conversation and putting forth their point, you know, you cannot start addressing the other people in the conversation without acknowledging this person's presence because then you would be talking over that person and there is nothing more rude and annoying than somebody talking over you. So make sure you're careful and I think the best way to avoid talking over somebody 
is to really really listen so if you're present in the moment and you're really giving your full attention to what the person is saying and really listening you will never be able to talk over that person so always remember do not talk over so we're learning how not to be rude something that i think everyone must master now sometimes being rude is not a lot about how you're saying things or what you're saying it's also about your actions so if you're supposed to attend a work meeting or if you have an appointment with somebody and you make it a habit of arriving late now trust me you don't have to say anything you're already coming across as very very rude so make sure if you have given somebody a particular time or somebody has given you a particular time you respect your own time you respect their time and actually show up on time and in case you end up being late due to unavoidable circumstances make sure you apologize and that makes a lot of difference so the first thing you should always keep at the top of your mind if you don't want to come across as rude is come on time arrive on time now if you're serious about learning how not to be rude there's one thing that you have to learn not to do and that is to not ignore that's right a lot of people think they're being very polite but they actually end up ignoring the people they're talking to so imagine you know if you're meeting a new work acquaintance and the person is slightly over enthusiastic and wants to share a lot of things about his work with you and you're kind of bored well i understand that happens at times but that does not mean that you ignore the person so imagine if you kind of just start focusing on your phone and you know texting and emailing and having like a whatsapp chat and you know giving that whole attitude about hey you know what i'm kind of too cool for school i don't really have time for you so whenever you're done just go well that is so rude i understand that sometimes it can be very taxing you know going on listening to the same thing over and over again but the least you can do if you want to appear not rude is appear interested or you know just politely explain to the other person that you have another appointment coming up and you would like to take their leave for now and you could reschedule the meeting and make the person feel good about themselves and not make them feel like all ignored by focusing on text messages or you know kind of emailing or looking the other way or yawning in front of them to not ignore it's very rude well i hope you've learned how not to be rude in today's lesson and you know sometimes it happens you end up committing one or two rude errors or behaving rudely once in a while always remember you have something very handy at hand and that is apologizing just politely say i'm sorry and you should be fine don't be too hard on yourself because practice makes perfect i hope you've enjoyed the video i hope you've learned how not to be rude in case you want to say something to me make sure you type in the comment box below if you want to get to know more such lessons all you need to do is subscribe to our channel without fail and make sure you share it with your friends too well it's time for me reema to take your leave i'm going to be back another time with another great video till then stay tuned